Hey art friends, welcome to today's how to. Today we'll be learning how to draw a kinder catnap surprise fold. First let's get started with our sheet of paper and we're gonna start by folding it directly in half. And now from here, we're going to take the top of our sheet of paper and we're gonna take it and we're gonna fold it again in half. And now we should have something that looks like this. And then we can fold this out and then back in. Now that we have our sheet of paper ready, we're going to start by drawing in the Kinder Egg. So first we're gonna get started with our Sharpie. And we're gonna get started at the top. So we're gonna start with our outside line and we're gonna curve this line around and we're gonna bring this line all the way down towards the side of our page. And then we're just gonna continue this oval shape as we come all the way underneath and in towards the bottom. Now from here, let's continue this all the way around on the right hand side as well. So starting back on the top, we'll start beside this line. We're gonna curve this line all the way around and then down on the side. And then again from there, we're just gonna continue to curve this line all the way around. And we're gonna connect this over here. So we're gonna curve this line all the way around and then back in. Now that we have this shape, we're gonna replicate this as we come around. So we're gonna step underneath, leaving a small gap and we're gonna arch this line all the way around. And we're gonna bring this in towards the bottom again. And then we're gonna replicate this over on the left-hand side. So now from here, we're gonna arch this line around, starting at the same height. And again, we're gonna to continue to bring this all the way around. And then down on the left-hand side until we come all the way in on the bottom. And then we're just gonna color this portion in with our Sharpie black. Now that we have this nice big oval in the center, we're gonna come over to the left-hand side now and we're gonna draw in a small half oval in the corner, curving that out and then back in. And then moving inside of that, we're gonna replicate that one more time. And then again, we're just gonna color that in black with a Sharpie. Now let's move up in towards the middle and we're gonna draw in the wavy line. So starting on the top, we're gonna to curve this line down, back up, and then across towards the middle. And then moving down, we're gonna replicate that. So we're gonna curve this line down, up, and then back down towards the center. Moving over to the right of this now, starting on the top, we're gonna to curve this down, bringing that back up, down, and then out towards the side. And then moving underneath again, replicating that, we're gonna curve that down, up, and then down towards the side. And then again, like we did for the rest, we're just gonna use the Sharpie to color that in black. And then we'll move over on the left-hand side, replicating that. Now let's start up above and we're gonna start with writing the word kinder. So we're gonna start with the letter K. So on the left-hand side, we're going to draw in a diagonal line that comes down. We'll draw two straight lines that come across. 
From here, we're gonna bring another straight line that comes down and in towards one another, just leaving a small gap. To the right of this, we're gonna bring this diagonal line out. We'll do the same thing on the top. And then again, we're gonna bring this line across. And then we're gonna join this together on the inside with a diagonal line meeting at a point. And then we're just gonna color this in with a Sharpie. Now let's draw in the letter I. So we're going to draw in two straight lines on the top and bottom, and then we're gonna join that together. And then up above, we're going to draw in a small square. Beside that, let's draw in the letter N. So we're gonna bring this line straight up towards the top, bringing this line in and then down. We'll arch this line up and then back down on the right. And then two straight lines that come in towards each other, maybe a gap. And then we're gonna draw in a small arch line in the center, closing that off. Let's come over now. So we're gonna draw in the D. So we're gonna leave a small gap and we're gonna draw in a small arch line beside this. We're gonna draw a straight line that comes up, across, back down. We'll bring this line in and then across on a diagonal. And then in the center, we're just gonna draw in a small circle. Beside this, let's draw in the letter E. So we're gonna draw a line that comes across, curve this line all the way around and then in. We'll bring this line up and then we're gonna curve this back across and in. In the center, a straight line over and then a small arch line in the center. And then now from here for the letter R, a straight line that comes down, across, down on a diagonal, curving this line up and then over. Now from the bottom, we're gonna bring this line across. And then we're just gonna connect this, bringing this up and over, and then closing that off with a small diagonal line. Now let's move up above. And we're gonna draw in a small rectangle. So we're gonna bring this line across, down, over, and then back up. And in the center of this, we're gonna write in the word toy. So we're gonna start with the letter T. In the center, the letter O. And then beside that, the letter Y. And now underneath, we're gonna write in the word joy. So we're gonna start on the left-hand side, curving this line up, across, down, and then bringing that around, and then in for the letter J. To the left of this, we're gonna bring this line out, and then in. And then moving beside that, we're just gonna arch this line around, and then up. Now let's draw on the letter O. So to the left of this, we're gonna arch this line around and then across. And then on the side, we're just gonna curve this line around and then in. On the inside, we're gonna arch this line around, down. Let's move around that and draw in another circle. So we're gonna curve this line around, over. And then continuing that on the right-hand side, curving that around and then in. And now beside that, we're just gonna arch this line down on a diagonal in towards the J. And then we'll bring that over and under on the bottom. Now let's draw on the letter Y. So we're gonna draw on a small letter V in the center. We'll bring this line out and then in. Do the same thing on the left, bringing that out and then in. And now connecting this, we're gonna curve this down, across, and then back up. On the right-hand side, we're gonna curve that out, down, connecting that together. And then again, we're gonna bring this line across and in towards the O, and then scooping that around and underneath on the bottom of the Y. Now we're gonna go some, draw some water droplets as they come out on the side. So beside this, we're gonna curve this line out, through, connecting that in the corner. 
dropping below, we're gonna curve this out, up, connecting that in the corner. Now let's come below and draw Catnap's face. So we're gonna start first in the center with the nose. So we're gonna draw on a small curved line that arches across and then slightly down on the right. And then from the bottom, let's just connect this with a small arch line and we'll color this in. Now for the eye on the right hand side, let's curve this line over and up. And then we'll do the same thing over on the left. On the inside line now, we're gonna curve this line up and then we'll continue to bring that over and down on the right. And then on the left, we're gonna curve this line up and then down on the left hand side. In the center now, we're going to draw in a small oval on both eyes. And then we'll color the rest in black. And we'll make sure to do this on both sides. Now let's move underneath and draw in the mouth. So from the center, we're gonna curve this line over, around, and then up. And then from the left-hand side, we're gonna curve that around, back up. Now from here, we're gonna draw in a small arch line in the center, so we're gonna curve that across, and then continue to bring that over and up. And then we're gonna draw in a small letter B for the tooth. And now for the tongue, we're just gonna curve this line over, and then down on the right. Now let's draw on the cheeks. So leaving a small gap on the right hand side, let's curve this line around and then in. We'll line that up at the same height on the left hand side, replicating that. Let's move below this now. We're gonna curve this line back out again and then in. And then we'll do the same thing on the left hand side. Let's go to the bottom of the face now. So on the underneath, we're gonna curve this line around and then in towards the center. And then bringing that across, we're just gonna curve this line around and then up. Let's draw on the rest of the head now. So from the center, we're gonna curve this line up, down on the right. And then starting from the middle, we're gonna curve this up and then down on the left-hand side. Now from here on the right, we're gonna curve this line out and then back down for the ear. And then we'll do the same thing on the left. In the center of that, let's replicate that shape in the middle. And now on each cheek, we're just gonna draw three small circles to create a triangle. And then we'll do the same thing over on the left. And now in the corner, we're going to draw some more water droplets coming down. So from here, we're gonna curve the sign out, back up. And then beside that, we will replicate that. Now we have the outside of our surprise fold. We're going to open it up. And then now from here, we're going to draw baby catnap in the center again. So we're gonna replicate the face first. So directly in the middle on our line, we're going to draw in a small curved line from left to right for the nose. On the bottom, let's close this off with a curved line. And then we'll just color that in. On both sides now, we're gonna curve this line over and out for the bottom of the eye. And then closing off the rest, we're just gonna curve this line up, back down on the side. We'll do the same thing on the left. Now from here in the center, let's draw in an oval. Let's draw on the mouth directly underneath. So we're gonna curve this line out on the right. We'll do the same thing on the left. And now we're gonna draw in an arch line in the center, bringing that up on the right. Let's 
draw the letter V for the tooth. And then a curved line from left to right for the tongue. And now let's color in the eyes. And now let's draw on the face. So on either side of the eyes for the cheek, we're gonna curve this line around and then in. And then moving down, bringing it further out and then back in. Closing off the bottom of the head now, we're gonna arch this line around and then in towards the middle. And then we'll do the same thing over on the right hand side. From the center for the top of the head, let's curve this line up and then down, and then let's do the same thing on the left-hand side. For the ears, we're gonna curve this line out and then back in, and we'll replicate that on the left. And now on the inside, we're gonna replicate that one more time, curving that down. For the cheeks, we're gonna draw in three small circles, creating a small triangle on both sides. Let's move down and draw in the body now. So on either side for the torso, we're just gonna curve this line down towards the bottom. And then now from here, we're going to draw in a curved line from left to right. And then we're gonna close this off with a nice big arch line on the bottom. In the center, we're going to draw in a curved line on a diagonal. And then we're gonna close that off with another curved line. Moving behind this now, we're gonna arch this line all the way around and then back in. And then on the bottom, we're just gonna draw in another half circle to close that off. For the arms now, we're gonna arch this line around and then in towards the diaper on both sides. And then for the hand, we're just gonna curve this line across. Let's draw in the feet now. So on both sides, we're gonna curve this line around and then up. Leaving a small gap in the center coming over on the right, let's replicate that. And now on the bottom, we're just gonna draw in a curved line from left to right. And now lastly, for the tail, we're just gonna curve this line down, up, and then over. Leaving a gap, we're gonna come down, down, up, over. And then we're gonna close this off on the side with a curved line. And now from here, to close off the inside of the egg, we're just gonna start on the top and we're gonna curve this line around, down on both sides. And then we're just gonna to continue to curve that around and in underneath. So coming underneath the face, we're just gonna curve this line around and then in towards the bottom. And then moving over on the left-hand side, let's replicate that, curving that around and then in. And now that we have finished drawing our surprise fold, we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna color it.
And that is it. That's how you draw and color a catnapped Kinder Joy surprise fold. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial and I will see you all on the next one.